What is up? It's me, Jay Cub, and I'm here in the car heading on over to Dallas. Boat work. And uh, the reason why I pulled out my camera is because why not, bro? Uh, I got this flip out camera and it's dope. And uh, one of the things I love about driving, especially to like through Texas is you'll see like pockets of small towns along the way and then you'll see cows you'll see I love seeing like what small uh, restaurants and uh, businesses that are open along uh, the freeway and made in small towns I, I've always loved that and uh, I don't know I have a camera so so if I see something I was gonna pull it out and kind of just start recording but uh, I'm going because my grandma's brother passed away, so I'm going to this funeral. You know, I'm passing Colleen right now. Uh, I was driving past uh, uh, Gerald, and they got like a really cool truck stop. Like, it's nice. One thing I am looking forward to is a Bucky's. I'm going to get some Bucky's, dude. It's going to be dope. I'm gonna get me uh, some food and then um, gas. Make sure that I can make it to Fort Worth on time. Shit, man! If Dickie sells khakis, or if uh, I'm just if Dickie sells khakis, Dickie's does sell khakis. But if uh, Bucky's sells khakis, I'm buying some Bucky's khakis, you know, for this funeral because I gotta travel in comfort think that's the right way you know so I'm gonna to go to this Bucky's uh, I'm really stoked going to see my grandparents haven't seen them the year of 2020 and the year of crazy stupid shit going on so uh, it's really exciting for me to see them and uh, yeah just I don't know I just was like all right well I got this camera so I'm just gonna start recording and uh, that's that, dude. That's that. There's the Bucky's. There it is. Can we see it? See what I'm talking about? If you ain't from, if you've never seen a Bucky's before, <laughs> it's like a glorified, like a glorified like gas station. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking. That's so. Made it here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some food. Get some, hopefully they got some slacks. That'd be dope. Uh, my grandpa, he's got a sweater for me, so I don't. That would be pretty funny to see how the grandpa sweater goes with some Bucky slacks. Uh, I doubt they have slacks though. I'm gonna get some food. Change the CD from Coldplay to Black Keys, and then we're back home. So I'm driving, right? And I'm just passing Waco. Waco's great. Uh, a great pile of uh, work on the freeway. A great pile of work on the freeway. Like, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. You know, like, I don't, I don't know if they're, they're better known for their their traffic, their their freeway coming into two lanes that constantly has work on it, or the bombings that happened in the 90s, or that they like bears. I don't know. But one constant thing I see when I'm driving is uh, through small towns is like, Jesus is there for you. And then, uh, but then, like, there's, like, get some Jesus in your life. Feeling frustrated? Reach out to Jesus. Uh, you see these, like, feeling frustrated? Talk to Jesus signs. And, like, the people that live in the area are like, you know what? I've had it. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to talk to Jesus. It's just, like... It makes you wonder, like, what do they do in these small towns that make them feel frustrated? Do, are they all cheating on their wife? 
you know, are they are gambling? Are they... Who knows the shit that people in small towns do? That's, that's true. I don't know what the hell some people... Do. If you got a problem enough where you can, you got these help G, come to Jesus signs all over your town. What the fuck are people in your town doing where you recognize, hey, let's get some come to Jesus signs up. That to me is kind of like, you know, like if you had ads that say, oh, come go swimming, let's go swimming. And you're like, all right, well, they got a swimming pool here somewhere, but if they didn't have a pool, you'd be like, why the fuck are you saying, let's go swimming? But if they have these signs that say, come to Jesus, feeling frustrated, talk to Jesus. You just look at it and you're like, what are you guys doing that are making you frustrated about talking to Jesus? Like, where you got to talk to Jesus. Right? This thing's sick. And then, like, it's you got to, like, if I want to focus on you, I just touch this thing. And then, boom, now oh, you're... Oh, that... <laughs> wow. Send this to your dad. Why'd yeah. you take your mask? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what you guys were doing. Uh, so, good morning, I guess. Um, just woke up maybe an hour ago, and, uh, yeah, we did the funeral yesterday. We ate a lot of food. I uh, got to catch up with my grandparents, and I have a feeling that they don't believe me when I say I wake up at like 5 a.m. to work on stuff. In this instance, I woke up like at 4.30 and I started working on this funeral video. I told them I'd film it for them. And uh, yeah, just having some breakfast. This is the beauty about doing things in the morning is because nobody else is gonna bother you, you know? Just get to eat your breakfast. I don't know, eat your breakfast and work on stuff. It's the best. Today's kind of exciting because I got an email last week from a ranch. Like, um, like a landowner ranch. And, um, I'm gonna go visit them and see if we can work something out. You know, where, uh, I can show my clients to use the ranch and they call me if they need a wedding done or something. You know, try and figure something out. It's beautiful on the website. I don't think I can add much. I'm taking photos on my end. So I already do that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm in this huge room. So, all to myself, baby. So, I guess the other guy that was gonna stay in this room, he was like, I'm going back to Arizona. And I was gonna sleep on my grandparents' couch because I wasn't about to like stay with someone I didn't know. And uh, then I found out I got this room to myself. Hey good in my book so yeah just just working on this video I'm about to come up with my to-do list and uh, we'll head back to Austin in a few hours so, I don't know. what's up world uh, it's me Jay Wizzle Jay Cub Hot and fresh right out the kitchen, J Word Frenzy. Ja. Uh, wearing the same clothes as yesterday. I just, that's the kind of style I have. Uh, I'm leaving Fort Worth. Really fun uh, seeing my family, even though it wasn't necessarily a good reason to see somebody at a funeral. It's sad. Uh, that somebody passed away, but it brings the family together, and I love seeing my family from the West Coast. They're, they're really funny, and uh, they always, my grandparents always have had like life advice and uh, starting this business. They, you know, I tell I tell them what I'm doing, and and my grandfather who uh, he 
sales guy and uh, managing people and and uh, just, just running a tight ship. You know, I tell him what I'm doing, and and he uh, he really gave me like a uh, almost like a crash course and things that I need to be thinking about. And so, really great. I uh, love talking to him and both of them. You know, everyone in my family I love love being around. And now I'm back in the car. What? But I'm not just going back to Austin. There's this venue that's over. Anxious Jesus offers rest. Seeing another one. Uh, I'm heading off to this venue called Moon River Ranch. And they emailed me last week just saying, hey, you know, we have this service. I don't know if you, you want to come by and see the ranch. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to Fort Worth next week. I'd love to check it out. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm heading on over there i'm going to meet them i'm going to see the venue and then i'll be able to kind of if i ever have a client that wants to shoot a music video at this location i'll be able to have photos to kind of and then give my personal experience of meeting the owners and everything so just relationship stuff and uh yeah i'm just going to go back to austin from there i know lou and alex are really excited to have me home and i'm excited to be heading home all right so i'm getting really close uh to this ranch and uh just things you know it's off the beaten track so you know we see a see a freaking cow it's freaking hanging out you know doing what cows do best look at that cow Alright guys, uh, Moon River Ranch just finished it up and they said, Jake, we like you, we like hen's bread, but no personal photo or no business photos for promotion or video. So I want to abide by the rule and not post anything. Um, I recommend you check out Moon River Ranch. Uh, website they do have professional photos and uh, I'll put in the link of the, the video but I really want to stress how brilliant this place is and I I'm looking around I'm like oh my gosh this could be the scene for Last of Us 2 when HBO decides to bring Last of Us 2 out here you know it's just it's so good um, I, I loved the environment and I'm, I'm out here on a shitty day in uh, Texas it's like a really cold it's windy it's kind of rainy it's not like a it's not like a good day but like this place is so nice and there's that rustic cowboy they got this one room that's really could just you could do so many things so for me as a creator I just was in in gaga mode and I really am glad that I made the trip out here it's about 20 minutes off the freeway once you get down uh, in Waco so uh, really great I'm gonna start driving back I'm on this windy road as you can see all the bumps and uh, yeah I really wish I could share the videos with you but I, I'm just gonna tell you just go to their website and you'll so see exactly where I was at um, I do have some photos that I can use. <laughs> I can't. I can't share it, right? But I can. I can show you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, really awesome. Uh, I guess I'll keep filming if something crazy happens. But yeah, we're just heading home. We're heading back to Austin. So, all right. See ya.